Welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to make one of these guys right here. He's actually called a character. The way you get here is most people start Tinkercad with the basic shapes, but if you go you click on the drop down and you go to characters, you have all these options. So if you haven't played with it, today is your day. So click and drag and automatically you get one of these guys. Pretty generic. It's got I don't know, maybe a tank or two. Don't know what it is. But you can click and drag or even just click and then the placement of these things is very important because it's going to make it easier or harder for you to put it on the person's face depending on where you put it. So I'm just going to click on the black arrow to move this thing up and obviously you can't see it so miscalculated my my placement. See how the belly is ahead of the legs and then the leg the head seems to be aligned with the belly so or the trunk with my right arrow I moved it forward and there you can see the mustache and uh, maybe a little bit higher okay fine I'm going to use the right arrow to move it over and yeah that's about right so now let's let's put the ice cream in here I'm going to try to set it up so it can go straight up from where I want it to go and that's pretty close. I'm happy with that. The hat. Now the hat, I'm going to put directly at, under its feet and move that straight up again. It's a little bit off. There it is. Uh, sticking out a little bit. It's always good to check the back. Now here, I'm going to click the down arrow, which just means it's going to go backwards or closer to you. And that looks like it's good. I'm going to check the front. Not bad. And these glasses here, I'm going to put them, if I put them here, you're not going to be able to see them because the head is sticking out a little bit. So right about here, go straight up, and that looks a bit weird. So again, I'm going to look at the sides, click the right arrow, and now you see a little bit of space. Let me zoom in here. And do I see any space here? I do not. That's actually a pretty good fit for me. I like it. Let me go back now. And there it is. Let me go a little bit forward. Am I missing anything? Oh, yes. These things. The flipper. And that you can see where it's going to be. So you can just click on it once. Now, here I'm just going to click uh, copy and paste. And then move the arrow over. And there I got. I have my guy. I am going to make him into one piece by selecting everything and then clicking here. That's the group tool and it's taking a second to group it all together. And when you'll know it's done because it'll be one color. Whereas here all the pieces are not together. I could just click on this and it won't be together. But once, if this is happening, I can click on the center and there it is. I'm guessing it's taking a while to change but it is one piece as you can tell another way you can tell is if you click on this and you do something like that yep that is all one piece all right that's it i hope you play with this because it's kind of fun now if you ever ever decide to make a chicken or a rabbit or if you ever use this be aware whenever i've had a student design something with one of these things when you take it off the printing bed this tends to break every time. So make it super thick, adjust it. I don't know, but it tends to break whenever you try to take it off the, the printing bed. So you've been warned. No excuses. All right. Hope you enjoy it. Bye.